All right, let's try to get this um, onto one side. Let's do that first. And what do you get over there? You know what I'm going to do in terms of sines and cosines, and I want to do that quickly. So it's going to be 1 over cosine times 1 over sine equals 2 over sine. All right, let's take a look at that, and I'm going to get onto one side, and let me do that for you. So it's going to be, let's write that down, 1 over cosine x sine x minus 2 over sine x equals 0. Let's keep going. Common denominator, cosine x times sine x is equals 0. And what do you get there? You get, you know, 1 minus 2 cosine of x. That's not so bad, right? So what you do, I'm just looking at when this thing becomes 0, provided the bottom is not simultaneously 0. Let's put that down. So when does 1 minus cosine x equal 0? I'm sorry, that's 2. Well, when the cosine x is equal to 1 half. That's when it equals zero. I like to draw the picture of the cosine curve. And the cosine curve looks like this over here. And what would it equal half in two different places, here and here? So I'm going to put the reference down. And what would the reference be for that? Well, it's a half. So that means it's going to be 60 degrees. That's the reference. Now, certainly, I also want to put down the radian measure for that. And that's going to be pi over 3. So I've got one solution to it. There's another one over here, by the way, and that's going to be in the in the fourth quadrant, and that'll be a 300 degree angle. All right, so one of the angles again we got this is going to be, this is this is one. The other one we got we know is pi over three. It's in the first quadrant. It's the reference angle. What's third 300 degrees in terms of radians? That's going to be five pi over three. So I have my two answers. Let's write those down: uh, pi over three and five pi over three. Let's see if they got those answers. They do. Pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Thank you.